Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for being here. All right, so let's get into this because I don't know what to say. But oh my gosh, today is the election day. I'm getting so many email, I mean, text messages about going and voting or whatever. Um, okay, great. Anyhow, it makes me feel important. Shoot, I don't get this many text messages. I'm like, oh, who texted me? Okay, yeah, go vote. Yeah, yeah. all right. Um, Let's get into today's card that I pulled for us is the seven of pentacles. We want to talk about that because it just seems like, you know, a lot of people just trying to put a lot of boundaries and restrictions and regulation on lawlessness. Bullshit. You know, um, I want to date you and I know you're sleeping with other people. I know you're doing this and doing that, but you can't do this or do No, If it's lawless, it's lawless. Don't tell me what I can't do. When I haven't given you a title, a ring, or nothing. I've made no commitment to you. So don't try to put parameters on this lawless BS, okay? I'll call you back. It's just becoming, you know, a bit asinine. And we got so many people trying to articulate lawlessness. Like, you know, everybody's screaming polyamorous and poly this and poly that. But... You know, we're going to be poly, but no, there is no, but it's poly. It's just, it's just that it's poly. It's just like, if you want to operate in a space of rules, regulations, and parameters, then do it the quote unquote old fashioned way. You have one person, you make good commitment to one another, you get married, blah, 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 so forth there. Then you got laws, you got rules, bylaws, regulations, they know what they can and should not do. But other than that, let it go. It's becoming extremely annoying to those who have a working brain. It's just like it either is or it isn't. It's either we doing this or we're not. It's either we're playing or we're serious. There's no gray area here. And we're not going to make up these new rules for this new lawlessness. No. They didn't even go together. New rules for new lawlessness. What? It's it's becoming... To it's, well, yeah, it's very toxic. Um, it's become, becoming tiresome. You know? Uh, so anyway, we're, we're about to get to a place of... I heard rededication. Okay. So some of us are going to rededicate ourselves to some. So rededicate. So whatever you dedicated yourself to before, maybe you'll go into rededicating. Some of us are going to go to a place of reevaluation. Taking a step back and reevaluating. Is this really working for me? All this time, energy, effort that I'm putting into whatever it is you're putting into, is this really working for me? You can go into a place of maybe learning, growing, restriction so that you can get instruction. Restriction brings instruction you don't get instruction while you're still operating in chaos drama and lawlessness no so you're going to restrict something that's going to be restricted from you or you're being restricted from or you need to restrict yourself from so that you can then get instruction so that then you can then move this is a place it should be a place for a lot of you of passivity like you should be passive you should not be extremely active in anything. This is a place of inactivity. No activity. Because in that place you're going to be able to maybe hear from God. A move from God. I don't know. Whatever it is you are maybe rededicating. Recommitting yourself to. Okay. So the seven of pentacles. Yeah. that that um, This is also going to be like a, a time period. Because I asked, where is the world coming to? And I got the Seven of Pentacles. So the world is coming to a place of reevaluating. Like, all the stuff that we've been putting, you know, making important, putting our time, energy, and effort into, people are starting to wake up and reevaluate and maybe come into. It's, it talks about Saturn here, Father, Father God, right? Father brings instruction, uh, brings rule, brings, you know, uh, lowers that, that gavel, you know, brings justice. Um, but definitely brings instruction and direction, maybe even redirection. So this is also learning too. 
you know, correction. This could even be course correction for some of you. So you may be in a place where you feel like nothing is moving forward, but it really is moving. You're in the right place at the right time to get the instruction you need to move forward in the right manner, on the right path. Because something about maybe redirection for some of you needs to happen with the seven of pentacles coming out. This is also a time where the, the world is going to reevaluate all of the bullshit that we really thought was... Um, Important, true. What we should be doing. Maybe we're going to we're going to get in place of evaluating that in terms of maybe it's not that important. Maybe we need to rededicate, recommit ourselves to. You fill in the blank. I don't have the answers for that, but you know, everybody's coming to a space of this is just not working. We're not getting the outcome we thought we would get. We thought we would be happy with this. You fill in the blank, but we're not happy with this. You fill in the blank. So maybe we need to do something different, whatever that may be. The seven is also about mastery. So it's like coming. This is also going to be like a lot of people awakening, you know, mastering everything themselves their emotions. Um, I'm hearing like projection too. You know, projects. Or, or the project that is you. Maybe you need a fixing. We all do, right? Um, this is also maybe a time of like reflect reflection. For some of you, this is going to be a period of getting what's due to you. But only if you can sit still for it. If you're still moving, if you're still in the energy of uh, movement and trying to do, and I got to go, and I'm, uh, you know, I'm going to be booked and busy, you know, you're not in energy where you can receive. Imagine I'm a delivery person. I'm trying to deliver some flowers to you. And you just... First, you were you're at your office, and then you left the office. Then you went to, to Starbucks, and then you left Starbucks, and you went to Target, and then you left Target, and then you went to the mall, and then you went over to your friend's house, and then you came back to the office, and then you, I mean, you. How do I deliver these to you? Unless I leave them in one place, in hopes that you get to them. But what if it was a personal delivery? Like I, I need to give this to you. You need to receive it, but you're so busy moving in doing so some of you that's a message for some of you you know the the universe god spirit what you believe in wants to to give you something but you're not in a place where you can receive it because you're still in a place of just moving and moving and doing and doing and it's like be still and know that i am god and know that i've got you and know that this is the time for you to receive abundance uh recompense you know all that stuff but if you're not in a place where you can receive then i guess it just waits for you right This is a time where things are going to get like illuminated to you also. Like there's going to be enlightenment, excuse me, that happens for, for all of us, for most of us. It's going to be like a great awakening. This might be a time where you like make something out of nothing and you're going to show other people. But it's also like divine intervention too happening here. It's like a gift being handed to you. What you do with it. This is a space where you're learning too. If you're not learning anything, then this probably indicates you need to get somewhere and learn something. For if I have the capacity to give you a million dollars, you right now listening, you one million dollars. But you don't know what to do with money. You don't know how to invest. You don't know what... An, a, a good accurate investment would be you don't know how much to invest you don't know how much to save you don't know how much to give to charity you have to give there study the people who are affluent study the people who are wealthy right so i'll just leave that there um if you don't know by way of no knowledge no if you don't have the knowledge of that 
You'll squander your million dollars. So why would I give it to you? Ding, 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 ding. So some of you haven't received because you're not ready to receive because you don't know what to do with the gift when you actually receive it. So some of you, you need to be somewhere learning, studying, growing in knowledge. Everything happens in threes, okay? So it's binding, loosen, knowledge. You can't bind anything. You can't loose anything if you don't have knowledge. Knowledge, binding, loosing. Okay, uh, that's another uh, conversation. But anyhow, come thee that are tired and labored and let's rest. Uh, so this might be like a period of rest for you or some of you need to rest and let something rest. Oh, you like you've done enough. There's nothing else you can do. You need to let something rest. It, it, I guess it goes hand in hand with waiting for instruction. Wait for the instruction. You, you, you don't need to do anything else. You can't do anything else. It won't help the situation. Some of you could be pregnant with a really good idea. And I don't know. This might not be the time that it, it's going to come into fruition and birth. You're not going to birth it, but you're pregnant with it. It's like going over it, whatever it may be. I'm hearing like screenplay, writing, writer. I don't know. Whatever this was, it was like inspired, inspired thoughts. So you got it from the divine angelic help you asked and you received rags to riches for some of you like you gonna by way of you doing something you like did a lot you learned you studied you worked you did a lot so you're going to Something's going to take you from one dynamic to the next. So it's going to be big. It's not, oh, you know, you're going to get a thousand dollars. That's not dynamic, you know, or you're going to get a, uh, you know, a two dollar raise. It's not dynamic. So it's like something's going to take you from one dynamic to the next. So monumental, big, dynamic, you know, um, Mastery and magic also. Some of you, this was like in the past, some of you did a lot of like magical work. Like using the instruments that were given to you, whether it was like earth magic and you were using like earth elements and, and so forth. Now it's just like you have to allow for the divine spirit to give you the full manifestation of this thing. I don't know what that's about. Like you can't do anything. There's no more magic to be done. You can't do it. No. Like you can do another spell. It would just be another spell. There's nothing you can do. But wait. This is like for a lot of you, like a test and a trial of your faith. Because you did a lot of work for, you know, works without faith is dead. And of course, you know, faith without doing some works. You're not showing anything, right? So it's like maybe some of you did a lot of work. And now it's like you've got to. Act on, act in your faith. You, what you say you believed in, now you really are being tested on it, in it. There's nothing you can do but believe at this point. There's like gray in the background. So this is like a real, real neutral Period in your life when maybe there's not a lot of activity, no, nothing is happening. Of course, that's what the Seven of Pentacles talks about because it talks about waiting, right? 
haven't placed the seed in the ground. You got to wait for the seed to sprout, to grow. You've already done that. And you got to wait for the harvest. It says that harvest is coming. This is definitely a period of learning, like learning about yourself, learning, 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 like soaking up knowledge. There is like a lot of so maybe this period of like learning and coming into and and really taking a step back in, in, in a trial and a test of your faith is because some of you were like really about the works in the material realm and really not acting on your faith. It was more so what I've done. Well, the, I know I've done this and I've done that. So I should you fill in the blank. But now it's like the reverse. Spirit is saying, no, you need to know that you know that you serve a true living God whose word cannot return void. So you need to, this is like a big test of your faith here. Some of you were like more so, you know, kind of getting caught in in your works and caught up in that. Like, okay, well, I'm doing this and I'm doing that and I've done this and it was kind of overshadowing the fact that you need to still trust in God, supreme being, over all morality. You need to still, I think you were kind of getting bogged down in the fact that you were doing you are doing you had great intentions but at the same time it was so if you know the story of Job, um there's an interesting interesting commentary on the story that um you know Job went through the suffering or um and it's not that he went through it because we know why he went through it because he was being tested you know um a test of, of would he deny God? He was the most faithful servant, right? Um, but it was also more so Job had gotten very comfortable in his works. For the, the the scripture would talk about how he would get up in the morning, early in the morning, and he would make a burnt sacrifice offering to God just in case any of his family members, children, loved ones, you know, um, sinned the night before, did something bad. So he kind of got comfortable in his works. Of course, he ended comfortable in giving charitable acts, just doing things. But he really wasn't believing, standing on faith that even if he missed a burnt offering, he wasn't really believing that, you know, God still, you know, uh, God still had him or st still had him in, in, in his will, the best intentions for him. So God, so Job was kind of like, kind of getting more so comfortable leaning on what he was doing. And that's what some of you have been doing. I've been praying. Well, I've been going to church, I've been giving, I've been tithing, I've been doing this, or I've been doing my new moon, full moon ritual, I've been uh, doing good works in the community, blah, 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 X, Y, and Z, whatever you can think of in your life. So you get more comfortable with the works and not really believing. So this is why it's going to be a, a big test of your faith here. Do you really believe? In God, like you say you do, because you're going to have to show it. 
by way of your every being, every fiber in your body. Because some of you, your back is up against the wall. And this is the only thing you can do. You can come out believing in your own good judgment, in your own mindset, or you can believe in God. So those are the only two options here. And that's why you're in a place of restriction and passivity and nothing really happening and inactivity because this is definitely maybe even God back to the, you know, God wanted to gift you something. So you need to have knowledge. You need to be still and you need to have faith. Wow. Three. Not, so we talked about knowledge. You need to be learning. You need to be still and you need to have faith. You know? Um, if you take nothing from this knowledge, be still and have faith. So know that in your stillness, your faith is being perfected. That's what I have for the collective. I hope that it, it really blessed you. Let me know how I bless you down in the comment section. Are you in a place of stillness? You need help getting there? Just sit down. <laughs> um, definitely um, be in a place of faith, of just believing. You know that. Uh, it's all working for your good, no matter what it looks like. For his ways are higher than ours. So we don't know what, how the plan is like transpiring. But we know that it is a plan. It is a move of God. All right. If you want to get in contact with me, if you want to email me, if you want to talk about this further, if you want me to go over another maybe tarot card and kind of incorporate that into, I don't know, today's it's some type of message, then you can always email me. You can talk about this further. Um, thank you. Many blessings to all of you. My email address is below. You can always give to the channel. You can always donate. Donate, donate, donate. This is the season to donate. The um, So this is the holiday season. Every holiday season, get out in the community, do good things. I know you do too. You can be a part of giving back, okay? Uh, you can give to the less fortunate by either making a purchase via, via the Amazon wish list, which will be in the description box, or you can give via GoFundMe. All right. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.